All right, thanks, Andrew. And the shooting in Texas bringing renewed attention to church security. Many calling for armed guards. Tim Pulliam live for us outside the Bible Way Temple in Raleigh. Tim, this shooting happened as many churches right here in the Triangle were either still in service or getting ready to end for the day. You had a chance to look into that South Texas church and you even spoke with several local pastors. What are they telling you this evening? That's right, Dewan. Yeah, I looked through First Baptist Church, Sutherland Springs bylaws, and it doesn't mention anything about armed security in their constitution. This shooting is raising concerns here locally on whether churches should be armed or not. Tonight, local churches dealing with a renewed call for armed security during Sunday worship services. This debate comes after dozens were wounded by gunfire today inside a church outside San Antonio. At least 20 people dead, including the shooter. Tonight, local pastors are weighing in. Do you believe that churches should have armed security? Yes. Why? I think it is the obligation of the church to make sure that the members and visitors are safe, just like we have a fire alarm, we have uh, just entry alarms. So it's a part of the security package. Bishop Darnell Dixon of Bible Way Temple says today's active shooter climate dictates the need for more churches to be on board with providing armed personnel. We live in perilous times. We live in dangerous times. and. I think it's incumbent on every organization where people gather to discuss proper security. But not every pastor agrees with Dixon's beliefs. One pastor tells me privately he doesn't allow any concealed guns on his church property, saying the Lord is all the protection he needs. Dixon says those pastors rely on faith as their weapon. God will take care of us. God will protect us. God will keep us. I believe that is, but I also believe he gives us common sense. And I'm an advocate of taking on responsibility. If I call people together, it is incumbent upon me to make sure they are safe. Now, Monday is a typical day where pastors get on a conference call with each other. Bishop Darnell Dixon tells me that he expects armed security will be a top discussion on his call Monday. Live in Raleigh, Tim Pulliam, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Tim Pulliam, Bishop Dark, uh, Darnell Dixon with the plan of action tonight. Thank you. Breaking